So this is the parlor. This is the focal point of family life. When the restoration began, chunks of the plaster ceiling were on the floor, the windows were drafty, the front of the house was mostly dry rot. The new ceiling cove molding had to be created around these bay windows. An exact replica of the molding was milled and plastered by master craftsmen to match the rest of the room. The front of the house faces south and that's the prevailing wind when you live here in Grilsine. So the wood framing was removed from around the bay windows for the new construction and replaced almost exactly as before. The walls were repaired by either injecting epoxy to strengthen the existing land and plaster or, when necessary, replacing it with drywall. Numerous wood pieces had to be milled and faux finished to match the original. You can see this, it's behind the blue couch. It is the two panels on the floor of the two center windows. One of them is original and one of them has been replaced. So one of them is 1892 and the other one is probably somewhere around 2017 or 2018. This was exceedingly tedious work, but the match is remarkable as you can see and nearly impossible to detect. The room is accurately furnished in the Victorian style. Here is Alan Kohler, an expert in the period of 1850s to the early 1900s to describe some of the pieces here in this room. In this room, it's an excellent example of East Lake furniture. The original home's organ is what you call an East Lake piece of furniture, walnut wood, little added called spoon carving when you have those little lines carved in it. And the other amazing thing is it has a beautiful East Lake stool to sit in on that pump organ. The parlor set in here is complete. You have a settle, which was like a settee. You have a little open arm side piece. And all of these have that kind of matching back element. It's a complete parlor set with an armchair, side chairs. There's also a great East Lake marble top table in the corner with a wonderful Gone with the Wind Victorian period lamp and another earlier Victorian round top marble top table that could be put in the side of the room or in the center of the room would have been ideal for the floral decoration when guests came in. A little nice lamp on the left that was imported, that's a ruby glass from Czechoslovakia. The carpets in here, this is a Chinese, 1920 Chinese carpet which would have been also an import and available for this house when the Worthingtons lived here. Paintings would be very typical. There's a painting in this room by um, James Everett Stewart that was painted in 1891, a watercolor, and it's definitely, it's titled Hood Canal, has the Madrona trees, a boat, it's a very beautiful piece. And James Everett Stewart was the great grandson of Gilbert Stewart, known famously for his Washington portraits. To the right of that is uh, Harriet Beecher, probably one of the finest 19th century, turn of the century women artists ever to paint in Washington State. She originally came to Port Townsend, then moved into Seattle and started the first art school and in Seattle, Washington, that was the very first in Washington State. The piece on the southwest wall is by James Watts. Typical, beautiful 19th century frame of the 1890s circa, which would have been a painting available through the imports of European paintings that came into America. And on the other wall, we have a beautiful early Ukiyo-e 1798 circa woodblock print. It is original and it's by Kiyonaga, one of the leading early Japanese woodblock print artists and artists in Japan. These would have come into America anywhere from in the 1870s, 80s, 90s, and through the turn of the century. These woodblock prints influenced the Western world and still do. The cropped compositions, elegant design, and again, the clarity of the faces. The design comes in the outfits, kimonos, or robes. It was a great influence to the atelier and the major studios in Paris, where the women's faces were painted so elegantly and that followed through for the idealized image of the woman. Thank you, Alan. So now please step into the living room to continue. <laughs>